hitting the i button and in description box below you will get the complete playlist of multiple integrals welcome to video number 12 and in this particular video we are going to solve this problem on the topic that is change the order of integration if you go to the playlist you will find four problems on this topic so on solving these four problems you won't have any difficulty regarding this topic and all the four problems are very 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 important in this video we are going to solve this problem okay so let us start the question is change the order of integration i equals to integration 0 to 4a integration x square upon 4a to root 2 into root of ax the order of integration is dx dy function is 1 okay function is 1 sometimes the order of integration given in the problem is incorrect as per the given set of limits so first we will check that here you can see in the limit we have x so we can say this is limit of y so first we should have dy okay so here you can see the given uh, order of integration order of integration is wrong so since here we have x that is this is the limit of y so first we need to write dy if this is the limit of y this is the limit of x so order of integration should be like dy dx so we will correct that first that is let i equals to integration 0 to 4a integration x square upon 4a to 2 into root over of a x order of integration is dy dx okay this should be the order of integration now you can see this is the limit of old strip so old strip varies from first we will write this that is x goes from 0 to 4a then we will write y goes from this to this that is x equals to 0 to x equals to 4a and y equals to x square upon 4a to lower limit to upper limit that is y equals to 2 root a x now if you see this okay we can rewrite this as x square equals to 4a y this is an equation of parabola now since the power of x the power of x is even so we can say that this parabola is symmetric about y axis i am repeating this first uh, once again since the power of x is even so we can say the parabola is symmetric about y axis that is symmetric about y axis this is all about this now come into second that is y equals to 2 into root ax now squaring both side you will get y square equals to 4 ax this is again an equation of parabola okay now here you can see the power of y is even so we can say that this parabola is symmetric about x axis symmetric about x axis okay so now we will draw two parabolas this is x axis and this is y axis now this is the first parabola since this is symmetric about y axis so we can say this uh, parabola is the equation of this parabola is x square equals to 4 a y so this is x square equals to 4 a y now again drawing another parabola which is symmetric about x axis now this parabola is symmetric about x axis equation is y square equals to 4 a x so we have drawn both the parabolas here so now here you can see so we have to draw the old strip okay now we have to understand that whether the strip is horizontal or vertical for that we will come to this part okay come to this part since here we have x in the limit so this is the limit of y and since this is the limit of y so we can say the old strip is 
parallel to y axis or you can say this is vertical okay how to name this strip that is from lower uh, bottom to top that is p to q suppose this strip is horizontal in that case the name is from left to right okay since the limit is vertical so uh, naming should be from bottom to top so this is my old strip okay so here you can see the old strip of this pq hana x goes from 0 to x goes from 4a so here the origin that is coordinate is 0 comma 0 and here the x coordinate is 4a and we need to find the y coordinate okay so for that we will equate both that is since here we have since here we have y square equals to 4ax and x square equals to 4ay so on equating on equating both what you will get we are equating y values so here y equals to 2 into root ax 2 root ax here y is x is square upon 4a x is square upon 4a on squaring both the sides you will get 4ax equals to x to power 4 upon 16a square 16a square this will become cube now again 16 into 4 that is 64 a into a square that is a to the power 3 this equals to x cube from here you will get x equals to on if you cubic on applying cubic root both the sides you will get x equals to what 4a x equals to 4a so on putting x equals to 4a here you will get y equals to again 4a which implies y equals to 4a so when x equals to 4a y equals to 4a so this coordinate is 4a 4a comma 4a okay so now we are going to change the strip i am taking the new strip in the same diagram you can take the same diagram for old strip uh, new strip or you can draw same thing again here and apply a new strip that is vertical uh, that is a horizontal strip but to save some time i am using same diagram for the new strip that is horizontal strip suppose this is my new strip that is horizontal and the name of this strip is r s that is from left to right vertical is from bottom to top horizontal means left to right okay so here let us write let r s be the new strip then the limit varies from coming to this part we have written old strip varies from x equal to this to this and y equal to this to this since we have written x first so we will write y first here okay now come into the new strip rs you can see the new strip rs y equal to 0 to y equals to 4a here the y equal by the here when the rs is here the y the value of y is 0 and when rs is coming to the topmost part then the y value is 4a so we can say y goes from 0 to y equals to 4a again we will write for x here you can see yes the left part that is lower limit okay r which is the left part of this strip is on this curve whose value whose equation is y square equals to 4ax we want x value that is y square upon 4a so here we will write x equals to y square upon 4a to x equals to upper limit is s okay upper limit part is s which is on this curve so here x equals to 2 into root tau of ay here x equals to 2 into root tau of ay so he, here we have the limit of y and limit of x so we will write the new order of integration so here i equals to therefore i equals to 
old old part is this okay don't write this part write this part because in this the order of integration is wrong in this the order of integration is correct so we will write first this then we will change the order of integration that is dx dy for that we need to change the limits also okay so here writing integration 0 to 4 a integration x square upon 4 a to 2 root a x function is 1 dy dx now the new integration is yes that is double integration y goes from 0 to 4 a 0 to 4 a now x goes from y square upon 4 a to here we have y x equals to 2 a y this is the new limit of x and y function is 1 so don't write that now we have to change the order of integration that is dx dy okay so we have to integrate 1 with respect to x and lim and the limit is this so we will solve this first okay so we will solve this first so on solving this i mean we are integrating with respect to x and the function is 1 so this is going to be 0 to 4 a x integration of 1 with respect to x is x limit is from y square upon 4 a to 2 root over of a y then write dx here so dy okay now moving ahead 0 to 4 a on putting the limits you will get in place of x we will put upper limit minus lower limit that is 2 root a y minus y square upon 4 a okay here we will write d y now again solving this now we will integrate with respect to y okay so this is 2 root of, of a y we are separating both so a power 1 upon 2 here y power 1 upon 2 integrating with respect to y and this is going to be y power 3 upon 2 upon 3 upon 2 minus coming to this part y square will become y cube upon 3 3 into 4 a that is 12 a now again limit goes from 0 to 4 a fine now solving this that is in place of y we will put upper limit minus lower limit so this is 3 upon 2 we can take this 2 here that is 4 upon 3 a to the power 1 upon 2 this is in place of y we will put 4 a that is 4 a power 3 upon 2 minus y that is 4 a 4 a power 3 upon 12 a now solving this part you will get 4 upon 3 power a power 1 upon 2 4 cube is 64 64 root is 8 that is 8 a to power 3 upon 2 okay now coming to this part 4 cube is 64 a cube upon 12 a okay this part is very easy now here you can see 4 into 8 that is 32 upon 3 a to the power half a to the power 3 by 2 that is 1.5 so 0.5 and 1.5 will become 2 so this is going to be a square minus here you can see if we divide this by 4 this will be 16 and this will be 3 so this is going to be 16 upon 3 a cube upon a that is a square okay so a square upon 3 is common 32 minus 16 that is 16 a square upon 3 and this is my final answer okay i hope that you have learned a lot from this video thank you thank you so much